Oh, hey, what's up? Y'all just hanging out? <laughs> what do y'all want to do? You want help with a math assignment? Okay, it's Sunday, but yeah, whatever, sure. All right, let's do some math together. I know that makes a, I know that makes for a fun time. Um, this is your assignment, by the way. Uh, for my class, this is all that you're gonna do on two-step inequalities maze. You're just gonna do the top two rows, which is only what nine questions, because uh, we have a lot to move on to. So uh, we're just gonna do the top two rows. And don't worry about the maze or anything like that, or the directions. Let's just knock out some problems, okay? We need to learn some things. Uh, so, I'm going to do two of them with you. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do one of them with you, because I already do too much for you all anyways, in my opinion. Uh, if, you, if you think I'm wrong, raise your hand. Oh, yeah, guess what? I can't see your hand, so there you go. Anyways, um... All right, so let's do, let's go right here. All right, fine, I'll do two of them. I'm going to do these two with you right here, okay? Uh, and that'll get you started for uh, anything else and should answer any questions on any other ones that you may have. So, because these might stump you. All right, so let's look at this right here. It says negative uh, 4x minus 2 is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so if we just go through our process, um, first thing we need to do to get our brain clicking is to draw the line. Okay, just draw that line right down uh, the center of the inequality sign. Okay, that tells us we've got a left side and a right side. And that'll get our brain starting to move, right? All right, so let's look at this. We have, uh, first let's think what wants to be alone, right? Something wants to be left alone. We want to get something all by itself. That is the X. All right, so the X wants to be alone. That's the variable, right? That's why it's called isolate the variable. Uh, so we're going to deal with that variable at the very end, okay? So let's first look at anything else that is on the left side that we can get rid of. So we have a minus 2. Remember, we always do the inverse. The inverse of minus 2 is just plus 2. Remember, inverse is just a really cool word for opposite, all right? Um, so let's not just add 2 to one side. It's just like fractions, remember? Uh, whatever you do to the top, you got to do the bottom. So in algebra, whatever you do to the... I don't know if I'm pointing to the right side. Whatever you do to the left, you also have to do to the right. Jazz hands. All right, so add 2 to both sides. Negative 2 and positive 2 is 0. So now we have negative 4x, and 10 plus 2 is 12. All right, so now we've got to think back, and this is uh, something that a lot of us will mess up, which is understandable. Okay, we just need to get in the habit, though. We're about to... Negative 4x means... We're going to multiply times negative 4, right? So, um, and we always want to do the inverse, the opposite. So we're about to divide by a negative 4. So in our notes, uh, I don't know, if, well, Thursday and Friday, depending on what class you were in, um, whenever we divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, the inequality flips, right? So the inequality, meaning the sign up there, which is less than or equal to, we're going to flip that, okay? So we know that now, so I'm going to do it like now. I'm just going to flip it right now, okay? It's not going to be less than or equal to. It is going to be greater than or equal to, and that's in our notes. Uh, we even drew a big bubble around it, okay? All right, so now let's just divide by the negative 4. Negative 4 negative 4, and so we know that negative 4 divided by negative 4 is a positive 1x, so it's x is greater than or equal to 12 divided by negative 4 is a negative 3, okay? So x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 3. If we were doing the maze, you would shade that guy in right there. Roger that. Roger that. All right, uh, so now we're going to, oh, sweet. We're actually, that's the one that we're going to do. We're going to go down there and do that one right there. All right, so I'm doing this one for a reason. Um, this says 14x minus 11x is less than or equal to 24, okay? So let's look at what wants to be alone. Well, the x wants to be alone, right? Well, there's more than one x. So, <laughs> uh, 
we need to put this um we need to put these together and then somehow have one x okay uh one variable so the first thing we want to do right get our brain clicking is i'm going to change colors because you know why not there we go so that gets our brain clicking and now we know that that x wants to be alone so in algebra you can combine like terms okay uh, what that means is you can combine things that are the same, that are that are that are similar. Actually, no, we just have to go with the same. You can combine things that are the same. Okay, so like if we had a bowl of M and M's and a bowl of Reese's, those aren't the same. So we can't combine them, even though that might be pretty decent, right? Um, or if we have, uh, um you know, a, a bowl of spaghetti sauce and a bowl of uh, chicken. I, I, I don't know. We, we can't combine them. Anyways, so, but if we have a bag of M&Ms and a bag of M&Ms, we can combine those because they're just, they're both M&Ms, all right? So, same thing here, 14X and 11X, those are the same. So, we can combine that, okay? Uh, that's combining like terms all right so 14 a and actually this problem ends up being a lot simpler than you realize 14 x minus 11 x that's all you do is you just subtract uh, 14 minus 11 is 3 x you know what happens when you live in a house with a bunch of boys you get interrupted all the time all right uh, so look we combine like terms 14 x minus 11 x is just 3 x okay so let's just finish the problem 3 x is less than or equal to uh, 24, right? What's the inverse of multiplying by 3? The inverse of multiplying by 3 is the opposite, dividing by 3. Okay, so it's an easy problem. So 3 by 3 divided by 3 is x. 20. <laughs> See, I told you I get interrupted all the time. Yes, you can go to the gym. Parenting. <laughs> and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So x is less than or equal to 8.